Hey, what's up guys? My name is Mark and I ordered my first kick bike online. And this is what I got. A box. Luckily, I always carry a pair of scissors. It's like unhooking a bra for the first time. A manual? Are they kidding us? Who needs that? And now, we're gonna pull everything out. Now to get the frame out of the paper and plastic, you need two tools. A pair of scissors and patience. Now the hard part is done. The kick bike is unwrapped. Now the fun begins because all we have to do is put it together. First we will remove the protective hub, just a piece of plastic. To attach the front wheel to the frame, we use the larger quick releaser. First we will remove the cap and one spring. Then we insert the quick releaser. First we insert the spring, the narrower side in first, and then the cap. And we simply repeat the process with the rear wheel. We remove the protective plastic cap, unscrew the cap, remove the spring, and insert. The spring, the narrower side in first. In order to assemble the handlebars, you have to prep the stem first. We will remove these four screws using the hex. Now we're attaching the handlebars. Using the Phillips screwdriver, we will attach the front reflector. Phillips screwdriver, we will attach the bell. In order to install the front wheel, we need to release the V-brake first. and set the wheel in. Tighten the bolts on both sides. And using the quick releaser, tighten and attach close to the frame. You don't want to get your shoelace caught while you're running. And of course, you need the brake, right? So you put it back in place. Now we need to attach the rear wheel. We could also attach the mud guard, but it's a sunny day, so we don't need it. All we need to do is remove these three screws, one, two, and three. Everybody likes options. So we have two options where to attach the rear wheel, depending how low we want the footboard to be above the ground. In order to go lower with the footboard, we need to attach the wheel to the higher grip. So we'll attach it right here. In order to attach the rear wheel, we need to release the brake cable as well. And the quick releaser goes into this position, again for the same safety reason, so your shoelace doesn't get caught in it. Now we have to lock the rear brake back in its place. And it's done! It took about 20 minutes. Voila! But there's something missing. There's no better kick. Kick bike. Adios amigos. Till next time.